Hello and welcome to another set of readings of Lotus Love Tarot 555. Okay, you guys, I am here to do your new moon in Aries reading. Oh my goodness, can you believe it? We are at the beginning of a new astrological year. Um, let me just tell you how the setup of this uh, reading will go. So we'll do a brief introduction. We'll go into your reading. Then at the end of that reading, I'm going to give an explanation of what is going to be occurring with this new moon going into Aries with the, what you need to expect, um, how you need to really start out this astrological year. I'm going to give you some um, information on that. And then after that, we will have your extended reading. Okay. So once again, we'll do a little brief introduction in just a second here. Then we will have your reading. Okay. Then at the end of that, I'll do a brief understanding of what to expect with this new moon going into Aries and this new astrological year that we're embarking on. And then at the end of that, for those that are interested, um, you'll be able to go right into an extended version of today's reading. Okay. So first and foremost, thank you so much. As I always start our readings, thank you for all of your love and your support. Thank you for the comments that you continuously, um, you know, leave for me. I read them all. Um, just a little bit about this reading. You can apply this to your sun, your moon, your rising, and for some, even your Venus sign. Now, do remember that the messages will flip-flop, okay? So if it doesn't relate to you, it could relate to your partner. Hello to our cross watchers. Uh, remember to follow us on Instagram at Lotus Love Tarot 555. Subscribe to our channel. Like the reading if you think it applies to you. And if it does not, make sure you look at your other signs, okay? And if you think it's going to be uh, worthwhile for someone else, please leave us a like. Um, hit the button that's right next to it, of course, to subscribe. Remember, we do have a Patreon. Oh my goodness, you guys, we are slowly but surely growing our Patreon. We put a lot of great information over there, included, including all of the extendants, okay? So all of the extendants are over there. You just need to join at the second or third level. And also, don't forget, we do weekly uh, pulling up energy. So you, you'll get all of that as well, which is well worth it for the price that we have it at. And, um, don't forget, I think I said this, but let me just make sure that we do have private readings and information pertaining to that can be found below. All right. You guys, also you, you guys, let me just state this as well. Um, if you don't know how to set your intentions, this reading will be a guide for you to set your intentions, which is so important. We have the um, an instructional video under our new moon playlist. So go to the new moon playlist and we have a video there showing you how to set your intentions. And I think I'll also put the link to that below. So just look below for that video on how to set your intentions. And also, we have done a reading for Cap, uh, excuse me, Saturn returning to Aquarius. Saturn has been in a Capricorn for the last three years, and Saturn just returned to Aquarius um, on this past Saturday, March 21st. That is huge. It is so huge. So make sure you go back and look under the playlist. I think we have it under uh, Saturn return. Look for that playlist and um, and that will apply to your sun, your moon, your rising. And also for Aries, we have done a reading for Aries season. We will start doing readings for each season as we come into it. So Aries is a very lengthy video um, about what to expect going into the season. So if you have Aries um, to, in your sun, your moon, your rising, or your Venus sign, or Jupiter, let me encourage you to watch that reading as well, okay? All right, you guys, now on to your reading. Hello, my Libras. Okay, let's get right into your reading. Holy Spirit, divine, create the universal messages need to go forth for the sign of Libra. As they begin to set their intentions on the new moon occurring on March 24th, 2020. What messages need to go forth for the sign of Libra? Okay, Holy Spirit, divine creator of the universe, what messages need to go forth for the sign of Libra as they begin to set their intentions on the new moon occurring on March 24, 2020. What messages need to go forth? Okay. All right, my Libras. 
Okay, Holy Spirit, divine creator, universal messages need to go forth for the sign of Libra as they begin to set their intentions on the new moon occurring on March 24, 2020. What messages need to go forth for the sign of Libra? What do our Libras need to know? Okay, Holy Spirit, Divine Creator, Universe, what messages need to go forth for the sign of Libra as they begin to set their intentions on the new moon occurring on March 24th, 2020. What messages need to go forth for the sign of Libra? Create the universe with messages need to go forth for the sign of Libra as they begin to set their intentions on the new moon occurring on March 24, 2020. What messages need to go forth? Wow. Okay. All right, my Libras, let's see what is going on. Worth waiting for. Wow. Divine timing is at is at work in your life. Okay, so something has been worth waiting for. You've waited a long time, and now that time is here. And this could be as simple as, you know, being able to be granted time right now. Time could have been worth waiting for, for you to really be have the time now to get your lives in order. Tranquility. Make time to relax, be still, and enjoy your solitude, indulging in much-needed self-care. I j literally just said that. I literally just said that taking time about you, getting your life in order, taking this time to really just relax, be still, enjoy solitude, giving yourself the care that you've been wanting for a very, very long time, and now you have time to do it. Beautiful. Your children are watched over by angels. Okay. So your kids are being protected for those that have children. Holiday, the answer you're looking for can be found during a vacation, retreat, or holiday getaway. So we know that we're not really getting away right now, but you can think about some, some place that you've gone in the past, a getaway that you had in the past, some type of way it could be related to what's going on right now. Could have been an experience that you had, okay? Or some of you may be actually going someplace, going to relatives' homes uh, right now having to make plans to bring families together during this time that we're in right now. Oh my goodness, travel. There it is right there. Wow. An upcoming trip proves to be life-changing in positive ways. So some people are planning right now to bring your families together. Um, th that may not resonate with everyone, but the collective was able to get this through. So many Libras right now are trying to travel to bring families together, traveling to get to families, okay? New home, could be traveling to go to a new home. Moving is a step in the right direction for you. Some of you all could be planning on just leaving one place and, and going to a new home with family members or going to family members. Um, that definitely is could be resonating with you, okay? But a new home, a new place that is the right step for you in the season that we're in. Or traveling to make sure... Um, that you're creating this new space, this new home for you. But it's up to you. <laughs> Some of you got the decision that, it, that all of this is going to be up to you. And this is going to be taking place within the next few weeks. Okay, this is going to be taking place within the next few weeks. Wow. To me, I'm understanding this is more like self-care. This is, this is things that you need to do to get your life in order. It's all about you for this new moon right now. For you to really set your intentions on being very specific about what you need to do as an individual. Okay? So what we're going to do now, we're going to look in the tarot. Um, I'm going to let you know the signs that have shown up. We're going to see if you have any angel numbers. And we're going to allow you to see the cards that we're going to dive into in our extended version. Okay. All right, Holy Spirit, Divine Creator, the universe, the messages need to go forth for the sign of Libra. 
as they begin to set their intentions on the new moon occurring on March 24th, 2020. What messages need to go forth for the sign of Libra? Okay, that was fast. All yours came out in one time. All right, let's see if you have any angel, angel numbers coming through. No, I don't see any angel numbers. Um, hmm. Just making sure. Okay, I'm just trying to get a read for what's going on here. Okay, the cards that you have is the Page of Swords. We got a lot of swords happening here. So that means that you're all in your mind about something. You got the Three of Swords in reverse. And I actually saw this page of swords when I was shuffling. I didn't say anything. Um, but somebody's been doing a lot of gossiping about a situation with, in, regarding you. Because for me to see this card in the shuffle and to see it as your first card out, it's a lot of gossiping going on. Maybe about this move that you're about to make or you're thinking about making. Anyway, we'll, we'll dive deep in, into this. You got ace of swords, strength and reverse. And your overarching energy is the hangman, okay? Um, showing up, swords, swords, swords. I mean, you're just like, it's, you're all in your head about something. And we're going to, like I said, we're going to get a little deeper into this. Um, could be dealing with an Aquarius, Gemini, or Libra. But the strength card could be dealing with a Leah, okay? And then the hangman, the hangman is considered... Um, Water energy. So that's Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio. Uh, no, I'm sorry. I always do that. Hangman is considered water energy. Um, am I right with that? Yeah, that was right. Yeah, water. Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio. Come on. Get it together. Get it together. Um, but anyway, we're going to go into the extended to see, you know, just diving a little further to see what's, um, give me an idea of what's happening. Okay. All right, you guys. Um, okay, I do see you do have a new beginning starting. So this this could be some little tension that's happening prior to you trying to make this new beginning for yourself. But we'll get into it in the uh, extended. Um, don't forget um, that link is below to purchase the extended version. And also, if you need to, your, your new moon intentions, that link is below as well. All right, you guys, meet me on the other side. Okay, you guys, just a little bit about what is going to be occurring with this new moon in Aries. First of all and foremost, do remember that Aries is the first zodiac sign. It is a, it's the very first sign. It is a fire sign, okay? And it is also a cardinal sign. What does that mean? Let me just give you an example of what cardinal means. Let's say, for instance, you are about to bake a cake and you turn the oven on so the, um, the temperature can begin to increase. And then once it increases, it begins to bake. You put the cake in, it begins to bake because the temperature would be the same. And then when the temperature is off and the cake is finished, then the temperature goes down. Well, cardinal is when you first turn the oven on. Cardinal is like when the temperature is increasing, okay? Um, it hasn't stabilized yet, but it is increasing. Well, that's what cardinal is for Aries. Aries is the type of sign that it builds, okay? It, it moves, it builds, okay? It's behavior, it builds. That's what that means. So... Um, the first day of Aries season, this is going to mark the start of a new astrological year. Um, this also is the first of the lunar cycle as well. So we got a lot of firsts that's going on here. The moon in Aries will be in conjunction with um, the comet Sharon. And I hope I'm saying that right. Uh, it's, it's Charon or Sharon. I'll just put the information below because I can never remember if that CH is silence with shush or K, okay? So just put that below for me. But it represents deep wounds as well as um, deep healing, okay? And the alignment of these astrological energies, it, it brings us to uh, a, a bit of transformation. Like, it's very intense. Our transformation is very intense. 
but it, it's needed to bring us to this transformational intensity towards that light. That's what it's really trying to do for us. And it's also give, it's given us a feeling that we have to go through the flames to get where we are going. And that's really what, what's happening when you're transforming. Aries is bold and it's brave. Um, but we need to and we need to rely on this energy to kind of move us forward to where we're going. Okay. Now you'll decide during this um, you know, during this full moon um to take the low road or to take the high road. That's what you're going to be deciding during this period. And you'll have to confront your shadow self and the person you are desiring to be. So it's, it's going to be really hitting some things head on during this period. Um, it, it's going to allow you to change your mood and you're going to get inspired to work on being the best version of you. Okay, so it's very, very important during this new season, this new astrological year, to really make those hard decisions about who you are and who you want to be. Okay, all right, you guys, I love you, love you so much. Now, for those who have gotten the extended, on to your extended. <laughs>